Hey guys, today I'm gonna to unbox these Impact Super Clamps. Now I have two Impact Super Clamps here. One is the CC106R, the other is the CC106T, and we'll take a look at them today. Now you can pick these up on Amazon. The price for the CC106R is about $24, and the price for the CC106T is about $27. All right, now what are these? These are clamps photographers and videographers used for clamping gear onto a number of different services. I think if you read the Impact website, they say think of a super clamp as the equivalent of gaffer's tape. There's just tons of uses for them for clamping gear around. I never had any super clamps before, but I decided I wanted to try and clamp some stuff around here on my desk setup and maybe use them for some lights or just for clamping some gear around. I decided I would pick these up. Now I'm not too familiar with the Impact brand. These look like they're pretty high quality. Let's get them out of the package and then we'll take a look at the differences. All right, I'm gonna start with the 106R. Let's take a look at what came in the package. So first you get the clamp. Then you have this, this is a, a 5 8 stud. You get some of that gel, put that to the side. And then you get this little card. Visit us online for a complete listing of our grip and mounting accessories, impactstudiolighting.com. Put that to the side as well. All right, now I'm trying to figure out how to use the ratcheting mechanism on this clamp here. And I would assume that this works like a, a socket wrench where you can turn the handle part way to open or close it. And then if you don't have enough room, you can swing it back and keep working it in a very tight space. That was the idea of the uh, 106R, the ratcheting handle. But I'm not exactly sure how you're supposed to do that. I see that this lifts. So perhaps you're supposed to do it by just lifting the, the handle. All right, well, I'm gonna to have to figure out how the ratcheting mechanism on that works. Now, also included with this clip is this, um, they call this a wedge or a furniture wedge. So if you wanted to clamp this to the side of a, um, a table or uh, some kind of counter surface, you would put this wedge in here and then this gives you a flat surface to clamp onto. And then on the other side here, this is where you mount the 5 8 inch stud. So you unscrew this and you push in this lever here. The stud fits in there like that. Or you can attach something else to the entire stud like uh, for, for lights or something like that. Now, I'm definitely no expert on this. I just pretty much am doing this as a hobby. And whenever I buy stuff, I try to do an unboxing video just to share what I found out or just let you see what comes in the package or give you an idea of what something might look like. Since I've already gone through the expense of buying it, just thought I would share it with you. All right, now let's take a look at the CC106T. So inside the package, you get this little marketing insert, put that to the side, bag of that uh, silicon stuff. You get the 106T. Now this is the T handle, so this is a different type of handle on this. This one just, uh, you spin it back and forth, open up the clamp. Now this one also has the furniture wedge that comes with it, that fits in there. You use this if you're attaching it to a shelf or a table. Then on the bottom, you can insert, well, it comes with this 5 8 inch stud, they call this. And this will fit in here. You loosen up this screw. You stick this in here. You push this in. That fits in like that. And then you can secure that down like that. And that's on there pretty solid. Now, you can mount accessories on this. Uh, threaded uh, stud here, or you can attach an accessory to the entire stud. Let me show you what that looks like. Like This is a light stand arm. Let me just see if it's in camera view here. 
This is a light stand arm or a light stand tube. And uh, I'll have another video about this on the channel. I'll look for that if you're interested. And this, you can see how this would just fit right over this. And then I could mount whatever I wanted to the end of the extension arm here and then clamp this on a pipe, a table, a tripod leg, and I could mount an accessory. And that could really be any sort of accessory that you would want to mount. It could be a piece of gear, it could be a light, camera, really anything you wanted to mount. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video, and I will talk to you next time. Thanks for watching.